Hi guys and welcome back to 5 Minute Friday. In this episode I will be talking to you guys about the five different apps that I use on my phone all the time. When you swipe around the home screen you get those suggested apps just there. Those are the ones I'm always using and I want to share them with you guys today. guys on to app number one and that is Snapseed by Google. Now I know a lot of people in my industry will use their laptop and might use Lightroom or Photoshop or other editing software to edit their photos. I'll do that for my blog photos but for Instagram I feel like because you're viewing the end product on an iPhone screen it's quite a good idea to actually edit it on screen so by the time you finish the edits of the photo you kind of see the end product which is quite nice. On my Snapseed I have my preset filters, so there's about five of these and from there I will edit and I will kind of use that as a base level, add my detail, my structure, a bit more contrast and I'll play around with things on my mobile which is always very very handy because you get the end product there and then. And also I've got a, an app called Camera Connect from Canon, so my ATD actually will connect up to my phone via Wi-Fi, I can get my photos from my camera onto my phone quick edit on Snapseed and they can be up on Instagram within minutes which is quite nice. It's great for my workflow, very very convenient and Snapseed for me has been a vital tool in both my Instagram grid and my Instagram stories over the last few months or so. At number two and I'll stick with the theme of Instagram is Unum. Now there are lots and lots of different um, platforms and apps and things like that you can use for your Instagram grid and how to plan your Instagram grid. I use Unum because it just works for me. Essentially there are a number of different apps that will do the same thing but I need to plan my Instagram grid in advance because I'm posting so frequently and the last thing you want is two photos adjacent to each other or on top of each other that look the same or clash in some way. Um, you know things like colour, symmetry, uh, angle, is it a close up, is it far away? If it's the same kind of landscape it won't look quite as good if you're trying to kind of keep it different. Um, so I feel like planning my grid is always an important thing for me and Unum is great. I use the free app, um, you can pay for more grids, more rows, but I feel like the free app does the job perfectly. I can see my grid, plan it in advance and then post when I need to and post the right photo for the grid. At number three and we're going to come straight out of the photos and Instagram thing um, and talk about City Mapper. Now I have lived in London now for about five years, um, I know the city fairly well but not well enough. There are some times when I want to get home very quickly and I can't quite work out in my head the right way. Google Maps is great but City Mapper has much more information available to it. It plans much better routes, much faster routes, more direct routes, there are more options and if I want to get home quickly I click one button, it's done and to be honest, touch wood, City Mapper has never failed me. At number four and we're going to go slightly different again and this is something that I use quite a lot and it is called My Fitness Pal. Um, My Fitness Pal basically allows you to input your um, intake of food each day so you kind of jot down electronically and write in the exact foods that you eat, you can type in the brand, what you've eaten, how much and from that, from the database that they have which is massive, they will calculate all the different calorie intakes that you've had of your fats, of your carbohydrates and of your proteins is a great way if you're trying to track your macros and work out what it is you're actually eating to kind of see that in a, in a, in a nutshell as well. And the most handy feature for me has to be the barcode scanner. You simply scan the barcode of that packet, you know, of that tub of ice cream, which is all too frequent for me. And from that you can see how many calories you've had and how many calories from that are of fat, protein and carbohydrates. It's just an easy way and a much easier alternative to pencil and paper and I use it all the time and it's a, it's, you know, it's a lifesaver. And finally guys, app number five and this is probably the most important app for me. I use it a lot, I could probably use it more and it's called Wonderlist. Now Wonderlist with a U, this is an app where basically you create your own online lists um, and those lists then synchronise with your laptop and on your laptop screen you can have a screen so every time you open a new tab in your browser your list of things to do comes up. It's very very handy and when you're on the go I'll, I'll sometimes use notes on my phone but if you use this app it will then show you what you need to do when you open your laptop up and it's a great way of keeping across what you need to do. So that's it guys, those are my five favourite apps I've been using all throughout this year. Um, obviously some are to do with Instagram, some are general life hacks, uh, you know we've got things in there that are about health and fitness. 
these are kind of all the things I live by on, on a day to day basis and I hope I've, I've opened your eyes to some new apps and you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe below. I will be posting again next Friday for another episode of 5 Minute Friday. Thank you.